Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome back to Ram Draws Being Stupid and I drew Crash Baku this week because you at home voted for it in the community page. So yeah, if you didn't already know, you can vote for the next drawing in the community page. So uh, right now I got a poll out for uh, week 2 and after I upload this video I'm going to have a poll out for week 3. So once um, this video is done, you can still vote for week 2. Or week three, because so, uh, week two has a tiebreaker between like uh, Neo Cortex, uh, what, what is it, uh, Leo Lesso, and Raven. So one of those three, I'm gonna draw from uh, the third week of uh, Ram Draws Me Stupid. So if you want Raven to win the poll, you have to vote for Raven. But I think uh, right now at this point in time, I think uh, uh, Neo Cortex is winning the poll. So uh, yeah, please. At home, please vote if you want uh, Raven, uh, Leo Lasso, or Neo Cortex to win. I think Neo Cortex is already uh, winning the poll, so uh, you don't have to worry so much about him, more so Leo Lasso or you know Raven. So yeah. Anyway, I drew uh, three uh, Crash Bandicoots for this video because why not? The Princess Peach video only did uh, one drawing of Princess Peach, so I decided you know what, let's do three drawings of uh, Crash Bandicoot. And I drew these off camera, so there's no recording of me, you know, drawing it. It's just the drawing itself. So, uh, yeah. With uh, this one, I screw up with the hands. So um, this uh, this is my first time drawing a uh, Crash Bandicoot. So this is my fourth uh, sketch. My fourth, uh, you know, uh, Crash Bandicoot uh, sketch. So it's a little bit wonky, but uh, it's uh, it's okay. It's a little bit off. What like, the eels a little bit off. Uh, this eyebrow is off, the hands are off. Like, uh, this hand here looks nice at the fingertips, but uh, there's no shading here. And uh, there should be a little bit more of a curve right here with the thumb. And uh, this looks bad, the connection between this hand and the uh, uh, the elbow looks a bit bad. But, uh, yeah, and this hand is awful. I gotta fix that hand. And this, uh, this uh, elbow again is pretty bad too. So I mean, this elbow is fine, but I mean the uh, segment between the uh, elbow and the uh, right here. Wait, let me erase some lines here so you can see it though. So you see a segment right here with the uh, rest of the uh, hand, and it's going to the uh, elbow. So this looks bad because it doesn't connect so well to heel. So you see that. Other than that, I, did, I think I did a good job on the shoulders, I think I did a good job on the face, but uh, other than the, you know, the ear and the uh, eyebrow, it looks pretty bad. And then this, I think I should erase the line for the ear because it, it you know, somehow is able to go through the hail somehow, because you can see the line through the hail and you're not supposed to see that in animation. But sometimes you do that, it's like a stylized choice, like, uh, what is it, uh... That Disney XD show called um, Star Forces the Forces of Evil. I believe it's called that. Star Forces the Forces of Evil. Yeah. Well, in that show, uh, her, eye or her eyes, like, face for a hail somehow. So, it's a stylized uh, choice. Sometimes you do it, sometimes you don't. So, I, I chose to do it for this uh, Crash Bandicoot drawing. So, that's what it is. And um, what else did I screw up on? I screw up on this tooth. This one tooth is a little bit off compared to the other teeth. So, yeah, I gotta fix that in the future. And uh, this eye is a little bit too wonky. Wait, not that eye. This, where, where did my cursor go? There we go. I gotta look for where my uh, drawing tablet is going. So yeah, this eye is a little bit off. It's a little bit too wonky. So I, I have to fix that in the future. It might be like a stylish choice, I guess, if you think about it, because it'd be more like a cartoony effect, like his eyes about to pop out. Like, you know when those, uh, takes, those uh, Tex Avery cartoons where the eye goes like this, and then does this, and he's like, oh, look at those bazoongas or something like that. See, he's looking at the boobies, I guess. I don't know, it's one of those kind of things with the eyes. But anyway, I uh, also added an ab crunch, I guess. A little bit of an ab right there. Why did I do that? Because I felt it looked too plain without it. So imagine without this, it's a little bit too plain. And of course, he has that iconic belly button. Everyone knows Crash Banker has that black hole of a belly button. So... I added that, and uh, I think I made his butt too big, because in the uh, video game itself, his butt is like tiny. So, uh, I gotta shrink his butt in the future, and I think I did a very nice, wait, I, I drew in the wrong spot. I did a very nice job on the feet. That's a good shoe. Good two uh, shoes, a good pair of shoes, but uh, yeah, uh, I think it's pretty good for my first uh, Crash Bandicoot drawing. 
And uh, overall, uh, how long did it take me to draw this? I, I think like 41 minutes. So it took me about 41 minutes to draw this. And uh, yeah, usually when I, I do like a, a full sketch of anything, it takes a long time for me to draw because I'm trying to I'm trying to conceptualize uh, how I would uh, you know draw the figure. So this is my, my first time drawing Crash Bandicoot. So 41 minutes, it's it's about it for that. So that was sketch number one of uh, Crash Bandicoot. I drew three Crash Bandicoot drawings, and then I did a a fourth. Uh, uh, edit sketch. So what I did was I took I took one of my uh, sketches and I edited it to make it look like something else. So you'll see that in the future, but not at this point in time. Let me go to sketch number two. So you'll see it at the end of the video. But uh, for now, I'm gonna go to sketch number two. So take that off, and here we are. That's sketch number two, and this looks uh, a few. It, it looks better. It looks better than the last one. Uh, he has that. Uh, he has a nice uh, effect for the hail. So I think I did a nice job doing a waving effect on the hail. And I fixed the uh, eyebrows too. So the eyebrows look nice. And of course, the eyes are definitely on par. So last time I said before, the eye is a little bit wonky compared to the other eye. Well, this time it is near flawless. So that's nice. It's a nice addition. What else can I do? Uh, what else can I show you? Uh, so yeah, I think I did the teeth nice, even though it's a little bit crooked and stuff. Like, uh, let's see, this is a little bit off compared to this, so. And then this one is like its own kind of tooth. It's completely different from the rest of the teeth, so. Yeah, even though it's a little bit off, it looks nice. <laughs> and then uh, I think I gotta fix the body, though. The body itself is a little bit too, you know, wavy like that. It looks, looks bad. But uh, looking over to the other side of the stuff, um, the tornado looks nice, but the way that I did the uh, waving hands, like a, uh, a rubber band animation, or what is it, a in-between animation, it doesn't look nice. It should, uh, realistically, it should go more like this, so it should go all the way along around the body as that effect, but I did not do that. I don't know why I didn't do it, but uh, actually I do know why, because... Uh, if I were to, you know, continue this drawing over behind him, uh, you wouldn't be able to see it because, look, this orange is going to blend into this orange, and then this brown is going to blend into this brown. So if I keep going with this, you, you won't be able to distinguish the head from this, uh, you know, hand effect. So the head would just match the same color as the hand. What I could do, which I didn't do, but I could have done this, is I could change the color palette for the hands and make it more, uh, uh, how you say, faded. So I can add like a faded orange color and a faded brown color, or like more of a transparent orange and brown color. So then it looks distinctly different from the actual color palette of, you know, the head. Even though it should be the same color palette, it's a little bit different because it's in motion, I guess. And of course, I did the same hand over here. So there's two hands moving. One's up here and the other one's down here. So, two hands. And for this one, believe it or not, it only took me 21 minutes. That's a 21 minute sketch right here. So, yeah. Pretty dang good. Now we only got one last drawing to show you before I show you the final edit. This is a final edit sketch I did for fun. But uh, I think this one's pretty good, and I'll erase the lines and allow you to uh, take a like a snapshot of this and maybe use it as like your desktop wallpaper if you want it. So uh, yeah, let me erase some lines. Uh, yep, is that it? Is all my lines gone? Yep, that's about it. Uh, here we go. I'm going to leave it here for a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and that's it. Uh, you can take a picture of that and use it as your desktop wallpaper, I guess. So, uh, yeah, a nice effect that you can do, too, is because I layered this. Look, this is what happens if you take off the lines. This is what it looks like underneath the lines. So it looks pretty nice, some people say it, but uh, I think it looks better with the lines. And this is what happens if you take off the color palette. I think I, I screw up here because there's that little orange there, but... It looks okay. It looks pretty good. But uh, let me just take this off, take this off. 
And now let's see the final sketch. So the last sketch I did was this. This took me three minutes. So yeah, this is a three minute sketch right here and it's uh, pretty okay for what it is. So what is, it's uh, Crash Bandicoot getting uh, run over by a lawnmower and he's like, Whoa! Oh no! I'm gonna hit it ran over by a lawnmower! And then uh, you got, you know, you got Aku Aku over here and um, he, it's Plank. What, what, what do you expect? It's Plank with an Aku feather. So it's, it's fantastic. So uh, Plank cannot save the Crash Bandicoot's life. So he's, he's gonna die from this. See, you can see the blood right here, so it's fantastic. And then uh, here's uh, a foot, I guess, and then here's an, uh, a finger and another finger. A couple wavy, uh, wavy lines, I guess. And then you got a TNT crate right here, and it's about to explode. And then uh, he's missing a hand because I forgot to uh, draw the other hand, but well, it's fine. And then you got the uh, neocortex over here, he's watching all this madness go on, and he's like, <laughs> Crash Bandicoot is gonna get run over by that lawnmower. I did that. It wasn't me. I replace I, I replace a Crash Bandicoot's a plank with an actual plank of wood and a smiley face. I did it. I did it all. I suck at writing. It was me. And then he's just bleeding from his mouth, I guess. Something like that. I don't know. I did a pretty good job. It, it looks fine. It's supposed to be stylized and looks stupid, but... It, it's fine. It's fine. It's lemon lime. Like, I didn't even bother calling this. I just, you know, sketched it for three minutes and I, I called it a day. But, yeah, let's move on to the last and final sketch. And it's a doozy. And this is not much of a sketch, by the way. This is a, uh, uh, how do you say it? It's an edit. So you seen my uh, previous uh, Crash Bandicoot uh, drawing, you know, the first one I did. The first uh, Crash Bandicoot drawing I did. Well, I, I took his uh, legs and I, I broke them, basically. So this is how his, oh, wait. Get the uh, red ink. Okay, so this is how his legs are supposed to be. It's supposed to be like that and that. But then I took, I broke his ankles, and I bent them back, and then I treated them down here. So his legs are supposed to be up here, but and then I edit down and move them down here, and also made his butt a little bit smaller. So his butt is smaller than last time. And uh, other than that, of course, his hands are still bad, but well, it's fine, it's fine. But hey, hey, look at this! It's Raven. You did not expect the Raven to be ridden by a Crash Bandicoot, but here you go. But uh, yeah, I drew Raven here because uh, I thought Raven was gonna win the polls, so I drew five different Raven drawings. This is not the best Raven drawing I did, but this is one of them that would have, you know, worked with a Crash Bandicoot riding it on her back, so I used this one, so. I drew five different ravens for that raven thing, but no one voted for raven. Zero people. But then poll number two, which is all the way out, you can vote for uh, poll number two. Raven is like in third place, so if you want raven to be the next uh, thing I draw for, you know, uh, week three of uh, uh, Ram Drossing Stupid, uh, vote, please, v vote at the polls in my community page on if you want, uh, you know, raven to win. But. Uh, for right now, you only get to see this one uh, Raven sketch I did out of the four. So, uh, yeah, I made her mouth, uh, you know, give her like an angry face, and I, I made her eyes a little bit angry. She has a little wrinkle effect. And then, um, I, yeah, I made her eyebrows mad. But uh, I think I did a good job in the face, it's just that the hair is bad. This is not my best drawing of Raven. There's a really, really good drawing of Raven that I did. That's like a masterpiece compared to this, but uh, yeah, the hail is bad. I could do a whole lot better at the drawing at the hail, but I just I just wasn't feeling it. And then I added a uh, shadow effect on the neck. Oh no, the shadow effect is like a hit or miss thing. It, it doesn't look too bad, but it's not great. And then I, I also added like a highlight to the uh, the boobs. So there's a little nice uh, 
cleavage uh, highlight there, so that's nice. And then you got the bootie right here. Slap into the Slim Jim, put a hand pin, put like a little hand print right here, and snap into the Slim Jim. Boom. Beautiful. And then what else? Uh, I forgot to draw the legs before I made this video. So yeah, I've got to draw the legs. It's all over, it's screwed, but whatever, it doesn't matter. You don't see the legs too much. You're too busy looking at this Aku Aku drawing, but whatever. And uh, if you want to know how long it took me to draw this uh, Raven drawing, it took like, uh, pff, say, 40 minutes to draw the head. And uh, pff, for the torso, it took, uh, say, 15 minutes to draw the, you know, the body. And then uh, for the arms, because the arms are separate somehow. I don't know why I drew the arms separate, but the, the arms took about, uh, say, 20 minutes to draw for the whole entire set. So 10 minutes a piece. So add them up, and what you get, you get like uh, seven, wait, got like an hour and uh, ten minutes, fifty minutes, yeah, an hour and fifty minutes. So it's like an hour and fifty minutes sketch right there, and uh, yeah, the hands are pretty bad. I suck at drawing hands, and uh, I think I drew her uh, arms a little bit too thick. So arms a little bit too thick, and uh, other than that, I think I did a pretty good job at drawing Raven for like the. I think this is my second drawing of Raven out of the five. This is like my second, so. It's okay. It's not great, but it's not bad. And uh, what else did I draw here? I drew a question mark crate because I thought it'd be funny if I, a Raven is like ramming our head into a question mark crate over and over again when I'm trying to get to the other side of the map. So, crush is like, Go forth, Raven! Whoa! And uh, Raven is like, uh, bashing her head into this crate like this. Like, ow. Oof. Oof! You know, like our Roblox. Oof! Here we go. Over and over again, just ramming her head into that, uh, I question my block. But, uh, yeah, fun fact, I suck at drawing, um, straight lines in, uh, this, uh, drawing program. Because this is, uh, being drawn on my computer. And my drawing, uh, my uh, little drawing tablet thing, uh, it's like drawing on ice. So uh, I suck at drawing with this because uh, you can't, you know, draw straight lines that well with this. So th this is this is me doing my best straight line. It's not good, but it's okay, I guess. It's okay for what it is. But uh, yeah, I, I I gotta you know make her a little bit less thick with this uh, arm. You know, it's a little bit too muscular. She's not that thick. She's not that uh, extra thick as uh, Aku Aku always, you know, he always says this in the video games. You know, Aku Aku is like the greatest uh, uh, video game psychic cow of all time. He has these uh, magical uh, feathers that look okay. It's not my best uh, feather effect. This is usually how I draw my feathers. I draw like a line here, and I do this, I do that, I do this, I do that. That, this, this, that, and then I do this. Do, 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 That's how I usually draw a feather. Just gonna say. It looks okay, but it's not my best, but it's fine. Look at that. Doop, 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 doop. I ruined it. <laughs> Wait, let me. Yeah. There, now it's perfect. It sucks. Uh, yeah, going back, uh, yeah, I could have done a better job in those feathers, I just didn't. And, uh, I screw up on the eyebrows, the eyebrows should be more, f uh, f like, fire effects, but, like, more like this. But, I, I suck at drawing fire, so, more like this, kind of fire, but, yeah, I suck at drawing fire, I can't do it. I just can't do it. And then I added, uh, it should be like this. His nose is like this in the cart in the I mean not cartoon but view game. He's from the Crash Bandicoot view games, of course. So yeah, his nose is usually like that, but I I end up adding like an indent like that. So it looks fine, but it, it shouldn't be like that. Also, I I added these lines over here, which shouldn't be there, but I, again, it looks fine. And I think I did a good job on the neck beard. So neck beard looks great. But uh, yeah, Aku Aku looks okay. 
And also these should be more like that. More like that. And yeah. But everyone knows this iconic catchphrase from the Crash Bandicoot games. It's extra thick. That's his catchphrase from the Crash Bandicoot games. He always says that. Every single time. So yeah. Overall, I think I did a good job. A decent job. My Raven is not my best Raven. Please, for the love of humanity, if you if you love Raven and you want to see me draw a great Raven, please, in the, in the community page, vote for Raven whenever she's in the polls. Because you're going to get some great Raven drawings. So, yeah, this is a this is a decent drawing of Raven, but it's not my best drawing of Raven. I, I drew far better uh, Raven drawings in the uh, past. So, yeah. Other than that, I don't think there's much left to say. So, uh, yeah, next week, I'm drawing, I guess, Neocortex, because Neocortex is winning the polls. So, please, if you don't want Neocortex to win the polls, then vote for uh, Leo Lust or uh, Raven or Koja Cowie Dog, or you can type in the comments below what you want me to draw next or something like that. But uh, for now, we got, uh, you know, Crash Bandicoots and Princess Peach. So, yeah, next week is probably, most likely, Neo Cortex. So, yeah, I'm excited. Are you excited? So, yeah, see you next week on uh, Ram Johnson Stupid. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the uh, uh, format change. Because uh, last time I did, like, this whole entire speed drawing thing, which I commented over my pre-recorded uh, footage. Which was, uh, I guess, tedious to some people because it it was long-winded. You had to sit for like a 45-minute uh, drawing video of me just talking over me drawing. So uh, I decided to scrap that. Instead of doing just one drawing, I did like three different drawings of Crash Bandicoot and a fourth edit drawing. So, yeah. It's okay, I think. Uh, I, I think this is a better format for this, but just let me know... Like, just let me know in the comments below if you enjoy uh, Ram draws something stupid, and let me know in the comments below if you want me to continue doing this. So yeah, I'll see you next week when I draw a Neo Cortex. I hope you enjoyed this video. See so, yeah, ya. Goodbye. See you later. You know what? This photo is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's a pretty good photo. I just drew it like in a couple seconds, but yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. See you later. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm done. See you later. Goodbye.